안녕하세요, 여러분. 저는 Robin and Agumita. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl Robin, and welcome back. And this definitely is a different video than what I planned on doing, but it's something, and I'm gonna roll with it. So, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you guys will know that I went to Inky Gayo this past Sunday, which was an experience within itself. That we're going to talk about today so for those of you who don't know inky gayo is a show by sbs it's a music show that is held every sunday and yeah that's all you need to really know about inky gayo so i originally didn't really plan on going to inky gayo mainly because i'm not really big about going to music shows i don't care but i ended up going because i had some friends who were already going to inky gayo and it was either i went with them and chilled with them or i would have to take a cab back to my place and cabs past like midnight 1 a.m very expensive so i just was like we'll we'll go to inky gayo so Here's my info about Inkigayo. So originally, we went to Gangnam because it was one of my friend's birthday. So we went to go celebrate her birthday. And then we all decided to leave at around 11, 11 p.m. roughly. Maybe a little bit closer to midnight if I'm being completely honest. And me, my friend Kimberly, and F Alora, we decided to just go ahead and head over to the area where Inkigayo is because it's actually really close to Gimpo Airport. And so we decided to just head over that way. And as we head over that way, um, we originally just stopped at the McDonald's that was nearby. But then one, our friend whose birthday it was on Saturday told us that there's actually a PC Bang nearby. And so we decided to go there instead. And so we went to a PC Bang and here's my footage from the PC Bang. <laughs> so basically i got a very nasty coffee it was a cafe mocha which is typically really really good not at a pishibang 10 out of 10 do not recommend getting a coffee at a pishibang if you don't like the taste of dirt um and i decided to play a few games of valorant because i mean shit if you guys don't know i stream over on twitch so and i have another youtube channel that i also stream on so like you know i'm already like a gamer so i decided to play some games of valorant meanwhile alora and kimberly just watched videos because they're not much of a gamer but we did end up ordering food. We got some, uh, we got, me and Laura got, shared a samgyeop bokkumbap. And then Kimberly got a hot dog. <laughs> so we ended up leaving the Pishibang at around 2.30, maybe, roughly, maybe 2.20. We left pretty early um, because lineup was at 3 a.m. 3, 3 a.m. lineup and so we ended up meeting up with our other friend Tierney who was also going she was number three in line which was nuts I was number 133 um but it was really insane to go in there because that was probably the most I've ever seen angels by the way we went and go saw teen top Come 
um if you guys don't know team top was like my original like original ot group like my original alt group before i really started liking got seven more and so it was really weird to go to a music show for my past alt group that i don't really listen to anymore it was really weird but i was like chilling with it i, I like I, I was so out of it at that point i did not care <laughs> so i was like i'm tired <laughs> so we get there and because i did not sign up before because with music shows if you have the fandom you usually like if you have the fandom membership you usually have to sign up before i did not have the membership and so sometimes with music shows depending on how big or how many people come out or sign up sometimes if they know that you're a fan or you show that you're a fan and you didn't sign up they'll let you in and so with my case team top being s such a smaller group now even though they're like they were really popular back then like with team top being such a small group i was able to get in because they were allowing about 300 people in and only 160 people showed up so yeah there's that <laughs> as they were numbering everything i was sitting on the side like i don't know if i'm gonna get in because with inky gaio's case um apparently what they started doing is now that you have you have to one bring an album show that you're a fan and two print out like a picture of you downloading it on melon and fun fact if you do end up going to ikigayo and you are a foreigner and you don't have melon it is completely fine mainly because you have to have a korean phone number in order to get melon and you also have to have a korean app store i do not mine is all english and american so um i had to explain that to them because i was like well, I don't have a Korean phone number, so I can't really download Melon. So yeah, um, so they ended up letting me in just with my album, but I'm not gonna say every fandom's gonna do that. Um, they just did it with me because they really just wanted people there for Team Top because there weren't that many people. And so they let me buy because of it, but some, uh, I'm not gonna say that that works for every group. I'm not saying that it works for every group. It just worked for me. So then, at about four, they had numbered everyone, they got everyone in line, and then they were like, okay, you can't stay here. Go do whatever for an hour. And so we just sat in a like very secluded, like almost alleyway for like an hour just talking. And they kept asking me, Robin, how are you feeling? I'm like, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm ready to go home. So then we had a call back at five. We come back at five, we line up at five. And then they start letting us in at about i want to say 5 30 maybe 5 45 honestly um they check the heights of people because if you are above 162 centimeters you cannot be in the pit you actually have to go seat you have to go to the seated area and i am 175 if not 178 something like that and so i was just like well it don't matter for me because i'm already in the back so i don't mind being seated and so i ended up being seated which was great so they let us in and let me just set up the scene for inkigayo when you walk into inkigayo the first thing are you the first thing you see are the very iconic red steps that you see in tiktoks now where like idols like film in front of for tiktoks that's where they do it you see it the moment you walk in the moment you walk in you see those you go immediately left and then you're in the broadcast you're where they do the stage and so they had all of the pit people up at the front and then the seated and there's only two rows of us for seated not even it was like two and a half rows um and i ended up having the aisle seat <laughs> and it was very nice because i was closest to watching the production side of everything and it's really sad to say but during the whole time that team top is performing and everything i'm not watching them i'm watching the production side of everything because if you know film major i do videos like i'm very interested in production so i was low-key just watching the production of everything more than i was watching the boys <laughs> it was kind of funny to me um but the boys performed three times the first two times they did um all of the main cameras which they all do in multi like they don't do multiple takes like i thought they would they all do it in one full take and they switched to different cameras i thought that was really cool so they did that twice and on the third time they had the close-up director who literally was following each member like his life depended on it it was great 
it was great to watch and then they were done and so then we left but i will highly suggest that if you are very interested into the production side of things going to music shows is actually kind of interesting i've heard that inky guy is not the best one to go to i've heard that music core is actually the best one to go to so maybe in the near future i'll try to go to a music core one if i can get in um i know that infinite is actually trying to have a comeback soon so i might try to get in for infinite maybe so yeah it was actually pretty interesting going to inky guile i highly suggest though if you are gonna go to music shows please be like a member of like the fan club because i think it would be a lot easier for you versus if you were me because i feel like if this was a different group i wouldn't have gotten in so the only reason, we, reason i got in is because they were allowing to 280 to 300 people and only 160 people showed up so yeah it was it was interesting to say the least. But yeah, that is basically about Inky Gaio. If you guys have any questions about Inky Gaio, put it down in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Annyeong!